OSW. The, the, the um, creation of an OFW bank is actually beyond the power and authority of the Banco Central. So if it's a, a government-owned bank, perhaps it's the national government that will be created. That. But any project that we have for OFW, we have a literacy um, program for our uh, overseas Filipinos. We also, um, there was a um, past initiative to reduce the remittance cost through our payments and settlement. And we're looking at further reducing the interbank costs and transfers to the uh, implementation of the national retail payment system that I discussed earlier. Um, we have ex established the Consumer Protection Department. We have addressed some um, concerns also of, of the OFs in terms of dealing with banks. So in terms of lending, they could, we have uh, adopted the credit risk management guidelines, which, which gave banks flexibility to adopt their own credit assessment framework. This time, they could actually um, use their own assessment of the financial capacity of the borrower without requiring any collateral to be able to lend a loan. That's um, contrary to what we have in our previous regulations, where collateralized, collateralized lending is being uh, encouraged. Right now, we give banks flexibility to adopt their own standards and criteria for assessing the financial capacity of the borrowers. This is actually consistent with the thrust of the BSP to give banks um, or supervised financial institution to um, flexibility to manage their own businesses, but um, standards set or uh, standards are set higher than the normal because we wanted them to operate with discipline and good governance.